This GeoMapApp tutorial describes the composition of the global digital elevation base map used in GeoMapApp. The base map used in GeoMapApp is the global multi-resolution topography data synthesis that is compiled at Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory and is regularly updated. In most land areas, the US Japanese Aster data with a 30 meter horizontal resolution is used. However, in the mainland US, an even higher resolution data set is part of the synthesis. This is the 10 meter national elevation data set put together by the US Geological Survey. In the oceans, a range of data sets are used. We can see this by clicking the masking function. Areas that are transparent on the map show the track lines of multi-beam swath bathymetry surveys, as well as areas where contributed grids have been donated to the project. The JEBCO 2008 grid is used to fill in the gaps between these areas. Additional data sets that are in the GMRT data synthesis include the bed map, subglacial topography data set, and the international bathymetric chart of the Arctic Ocean. The base map is a multi-resolution data set, which we can see if we zoom to any area. So let's turn off the mask and activate the zoom, and we'll select an area on the west coast of the US. What we're actually looking at here are some pre-made JPEG images rather than the underlying grid. The reason for that is the JPEGs are much faster to load across the internet. When zooming on the GeoMapApp base map, the zoom factor is displayed in the upper part of the GeoMapApp window. A zoom factor of 512 is generally the maximum for ocean areas, although in some shelf areas and other regions where we have higher resolution grids, the zoom factor can be a lot higher. If we would like to save this image, perhaps as a location map, we go to File, Save Map. The sources of elevation data for the land areas and for the ocean areas are indicated by the flag symbols that appear at the bottom of the GeoMapApp window here. And more detailed information is obtained by clicking the information button here. In the new window that pops up, the sources of regional scale data or global data are listed over on the left here. For the oceanic areas, the cruises used in the GMRT base map are listed here. And the grid contributions are listed over on the right. Considering sources of elevation data that are listed over here on the left, we find more information by clicking on one of the buttons. For example, to read more about the USGS National Elevation Dataset, we click the NED button here. And this brings up the USGS web page that describes this data set. For the oceanic areas, we can find out more information about the cruises used by selecting an item from the list. Let's choose this cruise, Sojourner 01 MV. We can plot the location of the cruise by hitting the Show Location button here. And in the map window, the area covered by this cruise is outlined by the box. And further details can be found by clicking the Get More Info button here. And this web page allows us to download the data. Similarly, to find out more information about one of the contributed grids, we select the grid from the list. Let's scroll and find a grid. Let's choose the Irish Sea Floor Grid here, and once again we can find more information by clicking on the Get More Info button, which brings up a web page from where we can download the data, in this case archived at NGDC. And by moving the window out of the way, and clicking the Show Location button, we can see the area covered by the grid. Finally, for more information on the GMRT project, 
please visit the website www.marine-geo.org slash portals slash GMRT. More information on GeoMapApp can be found at www.geomapapp.org.